there guys, it's me Moth Marauder, and for this figure review video, we're going to be looking at NECA's Friday the 13th, Part 4, The Final Chapter, Jason Voorhees. So yeah, first start off with detail. Now, like I said, this is the Jason Voorhees from the fourth Friday the 13th movie, the final chapter, and all that. And, um, yeah. Um, while it's been a long time, well, actually, well, not only has it been a very long time, but I only saw, like, the middle and ending of the movie, but from what I've seen, this is fairly accurate. And, um, yeah, and the texture's really nicely done. Um, it's made of this, uh, hard vinyl on some parts of the figures, like the pants, and the shoes, hands, and all that. Well, his jacket, uh, coat or whatever looking thing is made of this rubber like material which looks really nice or which is a really nice feature and all that so yeah and um yeah let me see if I can up the detail I mean uh, up the quality there we go so yeah you can see there's a lot of texture and detail in the figure really nice job on the hands and stuff and the, and the machete looks really nicely done feet pretty good so yeah, this off here. <sighs> Face is nicely done in terms of detail. Very disgusting and grotesque looking. So yeah, and uh, the machete is also nicely done. So yeah, the machete and. Uh, his mask were two of three accessories that Jason here came with. He also came with a axe, but unfortunately I lost it, and, which really sucks ass, but whatever. But yeah. Anywho, yeah. Detail in this figure is really, really nicely done. And the paint job, same thing. Um, he's made of this, well, not made, but like, um, well, just the paint job is just really accurate overall. The jacket or the shirt or whatever, like this, made of this uh, dirty blue color, and there's like this uh, red right here, which is no doubt from blood. I mean, not real blood. I mean, you know that would be really damn weird, but yeah. Like the red paint here, which resembles blood, looks really nice. And, yeah, the blood on, like, his head and all that, it's really nicely done. And the blood on the machete, it's really nicely done. I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and assume that those br dark brown patches on his pants are blood. Well, either blood or dirt, mud, whatever. So, yeah. The shoes are colored. Uh, it's a nice dark brown color. And his pants are... Uh, very light brown color, if not tan sort of color. So, yeah. Uh, paint job is really nicely done. Now, on to articulation. Um, the head can move, like that. It can't really move 360, because c um, how the neck is, like, because of how bulky the neck is, and um, the jacket might get in the way. The arms move, 360, like that. His uh, elbows move, like that. His hands move. So, you can uh, have him uh, be in, well, you, that way you can have him, like, do all these different types of crazy poses and all that. You know, for like stop motion and stuff. Even though this figure is a hard time st standing up. So, yeah. If you want to do stop motion with this figure, um, well, I think it requires a lot of practice and all that, because, well, yeah. Anywho, back onto the review. Articulation, yeah. Those move. Um, the waist moves. Not 360, but it moves really well, though. The legs move up and down, the knees move, and 
the knee lower leg area also moves and uh, the foot moves a little bit or the feet move a little bit so yeah and that's pretty much it for articulation so yeah let me see if I can get this guy to stand up like I've said this guy has a problem standing up but I don't know maybe it's just my figure but whatever the case may be I'm not really bothered by it so yeah And last but not least, Rarity. Um, this figure is made by NECA, like I said earlier in the video. And um, let's see, on his foot, it says that he was made in 2012 or something like that. So, yeah, it's like five years ago. And, well, yeah. As of 2017, I would go, well, I would have to assume that this figure is fairly rare, or just rare in general. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really, shit, sorry about that. I don't really, see what I mean about the standing problem, but yeah, there we go. Anywho, um, I don't really look for uh, horror movie characters on eBay and all that, like, I don't really look for, uh, Freddy Krueger, Ghostface, or Jason Voorhees figures, like, I don't really look for those sort of things on eBay, I'm more, I usually look for, like, Godzilla and Ultraman stuff, but, yeah, however, due to this guy being made in 2012, I would have to assume that this guy's fairly rare, but, who knows, I could be wrong, so, yeah, and that's pretty much it for this review, um, Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I also recommend this to Friday the 13th fans, like me. And if you just like, you know, horror movies in general, I still suggest you get this figure. So, yeah. Really nice figure of Jason Voorhees. I think they, I think NECA did an amazing job at making this figure. And, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this review. Detail and paint job is freaking amazing. He has... Sorry about that. I got a notification that I have 10% battery left on my phone, so I have to hurry up with this. So yeah, detail and paint job is amazing. He has a lot of articulation. And rarity, I have no idea, but I'll go ahead and take a while to guess that he is mild, well, fairly rare. So, yeah. In the end, he gets an easy 5 to 5. Despite the standing problem, this figure is still a really nice looking figure. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and... Until then, I'll see you guys in the next review video. This is Moth Marauder, signing off.